Hey friends, today we are at the Magic Kingdom. It is my family's last day in the parks. I'm very sad about it, but we saved Magic Kingdom for the last day because it's Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna ride some rides, enjoy some food, hopefully stay for Happily Ever After because this will be the last time they're gonna see it since it's going away and just have a family day at Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. Time to say goodbye to Cinderella Castle, Bonnie. Well, not right now. Eventually, later on tonight. But you got to get one good look at her before you go. It is a very, very hot day today. So we're going to try to stay nice and hydrated. And I think we're going to get ourselves a frozen mint julep here from Casey's just so we can start off cool. And I love these. These are one of my favorite frozen drinks at Walt Disney World. And here they are. Ta-da! Fancy, right? Fancy. You got it? I got this one. Oh, thank you. Ah! <laughs> Cheers to the start of a Magic Kingdom day. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> now we're going to move along and head on into Tomorrowland. That's where we're going to start our day. How's the mint julep though, Mom? Good? Yeah, you like it, right? Love it. I'm not too sure if I mentioned this already, but effective tomorrow, I believe it is August 19th, Disney is switching up its mask policy, so you do not need to wear your mask in any outdoor queues, outdoor areas, and outdoor attractions, but you still need to wear them indoors. And uh, I think that's fun, and it's all optional. If you want to wear your mask, wear your mask. If you don't, don't, except for indoors. You have to. That being said, I think I would count the People Mover as an outdoor attraction. I mean, it basically is outdoors, so we wouldn't have to wear a mask tomorrow if we didn't want to while riding it. And I think that's gonna be our first ride of the day, is the People Mover. I mean, I love this ride, obviously, but my mom loves it too. The thing is, it's a little bit tricky when it comes to wheelchairs, and I'll explain a little bit more when we get up there. If you want to ride the people mover with a mobility scooter or a wheelchair, you do have to get up and actually stand on the conveyor belt to go all the way up. You can't take any of the scooters or wheelchairs up. So my mom's got her cane, she's going to be able to stand put and it's going to be able to take her up, but we have to leave the chair here itself. We're going all the way up, mom. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. Do you like this? It's kind of like a foot massager, isn't it? You put your foot down right there. Did you guys know that the people mover is perfect for people watching? Yeah, we can do a lot of people watching down there. Look, I see Jerry and Mary. Hi Jerry, hi Mary. Look at Tron, definitely coming along good. I cannot wait to ride that. Bonnie's waving to everybody. Hello fellow people. We are waving from the people mover. Oh, what's the wait time for Space Mountain? Look at that, Space Mountain only has a 25 minute wait. That is insane. Wow, we're really lucking out today. I think it's because school went back, right? That's the only reason why. And then right here are the Tomorrowland restrooms. Ah, very nice, huh? Look at that big beautiful castle over there. Isn't she a butte, Clark? <laughs> As we were riding the People Mover, I discovered my sister has never rode Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. And my mom has never either. So we're going to do Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin after me and Bon Bon do Space Mountain. <laughs> Here she comes to save the day. You made it. I can't get over the wait times I'm seeing here today already. Like right now, Space Mountain is still a 25 minute wait. When we got off, Buzz Lightyear was only a 10 minute wait. We probably should have done that when we could, but we're gonna do Space Mountain first and then do a ride with my mom. My mom definitely does not want to do Space Mountain. Well, here we are. Lucky spot, I'm gonna be in the middle. Hang on to your hats there, Bonnie. The ride in space. Oh, the wildest ride in space. Oh, you know, in space, they can't hear you scream. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is my favorite part. I love it. Oh, and I'm wearing all blue. Here we go. Kyle.
<laughs> oh, I love it. Did you like the wildest ride in space, Bonnie? Yep. I love it. You know, I never heard that before, and now it's kind of going to be a thing for me. Yep. Oh, we mask. We mask. <laughs> I wasn't going to say we match, but we mask. We mask. Something crazy just happened with my magic band. <laughs> Where are you going? Do you see that? It went doo doo like a lightsaber. Yeah. Now it's time we head on over to Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I was telling Bon if she gets 999,000 that she's going to be a galactic hero. I'm not going to tell you any tips or anything. You just have to figure it out on your own. Okay. <laughs> My mom decided to opt out on Buzz Lightyear, so it's just me and Bon Bon, and you are here at Star Command. Star Command, can you hear me? Blasters engaged. Hey, I know you. Get ready, Bonnie, here we go. Hey, hey, who's spinning here? What? We need to go the other way. Other way, all the way, turn us all the way around. Yeah, right here. Stop, right there, right there. Hit this guy's uh, inner elbow. You notice I have 100,000, you have 300? <laughs> We're spinning out of control. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we gotta make it a little difficult here. Do your best. Well, I didn't get a galactic hero, but I think we did pretty good. What do you think? As soon as we got off Buzz Lightyear, I noticed Stitch is out meeting and greeting guests. I haven't seen Stitch out in a while. I don't know why I always miss him whenever I come over here. It's usually Buzz on the stage. There he is. How you doing, Stitch? Uh-oh. It's also starting to rain. Do you feel that? <laughs> Stitch is calling it a day. He's headed in. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain a little bit, so my mom said, quick, give me an umbrella. And look at her. Looks like she's riding around in an actual car at this moment. Because it looks like you're sitting down into like a ride vehicle. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Now I think we're going to head up to Fantasyland and check on the wait times up there. Like I said, I'm overly shocked at how low all the wait times are today. So I'm sure we're going to luck out once we get up there as well. Seven Doors Mine Train is only a 50 minute wait. Actually, the line's starting right here instead of usually wrapping around the whole entire ride. That's really awesome. 50 minutes is not that bad. I think me and Bon Bon are gonna jump on Seven Doors Mine Train. Mom's not feeling too good about the rides today, so she's just gonna hang out, but we're gonna go for a nice little ride on Seven Doors Mine Train. You like that ride, don't you? I do. It's good, I love it. <laughs> nice and steady. You got a rocket, Bonnie. Ooh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> that 
was so much fun. I love riding Seven Doors Mine Train, but I don't think it's worth like an hour or so wait. It goes by so quick. I wish it was just a longer ride. It would be perfect then. Now we're gonna hunker down into Frontierland and we're gonna go visit some of my mom's favorite bears, the Country Bear Jamboree. <laughs> I am absolutely mind blown right now. So I was thinking in my head, my mom said she wants to do the Country Bear Jamboree and I was like, oh, okay, she likes it. And I was thinking, I'm like, when did she do this before? I don't remember ever doing it with her. And now I just found out she's never done it before, but she's watched the movie. I don't think anyone even knows the movie exists, but there is a movie for the Country Bear Jamboree. So she watched that movie and wanted to come and do this attraction just because of that movie. I've never heard of that before. Then it's the Country Bear Jamboree. Woo! Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. We're kind of hung up here. <laughs> Was it better than the movie, Mom? Oh, the movie was good. The movie was good? The movie was good. Wow. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen Disney's Country Bear Jamboree movie. My mom thinks the movie's better than the attraction, which is kind of shocking to me because I have seen the movie and I definitely don't think it's better than the attraction. But she likes it and I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> Now I think it's time for everything to get satisfactual. This may be my sister's last time running Splash Mountain. Disney didn't announce when it was actually shutting down, but I mean, who knows? Could be your last time. They might shut it down right after the 50th. And we got the front row here. Burr Rabbit's gonna lead us on into Splash Mountain. And we got the front row. We're living dangerously, Bon. Did I tell you my idea for uh, when you go down into the laughing place? If they made that, where you go down where he starts singing friends on the other side. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Get so scared coming through the briar patch. Hopefully the water cannons aren't on. Oh boy, we'll find out in a second. Clear. <laughs> Muskrat moonshine. Oh, slip and fall. Oh. 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 <laughs> Let me go! 
water falls off. But the reason I wanted to sit in first, Bonnie, is because you usually get soaked by this waterfall. Oh. So you got lucky. Uh -huh. But I was definitely setting you up. We ended up getting a little wet, my eyeglasses. Bon, you get a little wet? Yep. Yeah? And the worst part is, is when you wear these silky smooth like shirts, I don't know what kind of fabric this is, you can't clean your glass lens with it. It just smears it, it never actually takes the water off them. So I usually just walk around or I shake it off a little bit like this. Shake off the water droplets. It doesn't really actually work, I do need to find a napkin. <laughs> We are gonna hop from Splash Mountain right to Big Thunder Mountain because it's a 10 minute wait. 10 minutes! This is such a great, amazing day today. Holy moly. I feel like we've gotten a lot of rides done today though, Bon, don't you? Oh yeah. Like we got a lot accomplished. Oh no, it looks like somebody lost their I'm celebrating button. I wonder what they were celebrating. You see it down there? We'll never know. We'll never know, and I hope that they're still celebrating even though they don't got their button. I would. Yes, we're moving. I'm bold. Oh boy. Oh, coming in hot. Woo. Woo. Oh, look at that beautiful view. And there's the castle. Oh! <laughs> Am I squishing you? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> What do you think, Bomb? Was that the wildest ride in space? The wildest ride in the wilderness. The <laughs> wildest ride in the wilderness. That is truly the wildest ride in the wilderness. Not the wildest ride in space at Space Mountain before. Oh, my mom saw a bird. Bird does not want to talk to you right now. But we do need to get something to eat, and we have reservations at the Crystal Palace. So I think we're going to head on over there and uh, get something to eat. I'm starving. My mom is really excited to see the country bears out there. I don't know his name. I am so excited to eat at Crystal Palace. I wish I could take my mom to the Crystal Palace when it was the Crystal Palace, when all the Winnie the Pooh characters were out meeting a green, it was all you can eat buffet that had jambalaya and wings and everything like that. But it's still nice to be able to go in to 100 Acre Woods, get something to eat. It's still all you care to enjoy. And they have an amazing Winnie the Pooh themed uh, dessert, like family style, that I can't wait to try. I'm just very hungry. We got such a nice table. We're in front of the Welcome to Our Friendship Day celebration. And we got salad and then we've got the cornbread and these are cheese and bacon i think maybe i know it's regular cornbread but then i think there's also cheese and bacon biscuits and jalapeno and jalapeno i'll have to look but this these look is, good go ahead this says home style cornbread muffin and cheddar bacon cornbread muffin cheddar bacon yeah 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 oh boy i decided on going with the prime rib i love the prime rib here Bon Bon got the chicken, and then I think my mom's getting the prime rib too. I also like the jelly that they give you with the cornbread. So I'm gonna try the jelly. I think last time I said that was my favorite little sauce that I, I can get. I like that better than the honey butter that they have. Here is the cornbreads. We're gonna pop open them on here and take a look to see on the inside. Yeah, I don't see any jalapenos in there. I think it's just bacon and cheese. And we're gonna grab some of this jam. I think that's like uh, parsley maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. Trying the jelly here. And 
here's the main event. Look at that, prime rib, sweet potato, asparagus, uh, nice some au jus. Bon Bon got the chicken, and then mom got the same prime rib, but she got carrots and mac and cheese. This looks so, so good. I'm excited for that sweet potato. Gotta start off with the asparagus. I love asparagus and I love it here. I don't know what they do anything different to it, or maybe it's just like the au jus from the prime rib that's kind of resting on it, but it's so, so good. It's got a nice little snap to it too. Mm. The sweet potato looks so good. I'm gonna definitely take a little piece right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Oh, sweet potato delight here. And now it's time for the prime rib. Let's get a nice good cut here. Look at that. So, so good. Of course, we gotta dunk it in the au jus. Soak up all that juice. And just go all in. <laughs> And I absolutely love mixing around the sweet potato and the prime rib itself. I ate all my asparagus though, so I can't really add that to it, but I'm gonna try dipping this in. But I don't want the sweet potato to get all la jouy, just the prime rib. Yeah, like Bonnie said, a little sweet and a little savory here. And now the dessert is here and take a look at this. This is so good and it's my favorite because it's kind of like a Winnie the Pooh themed dessert. We have like the cupcake which is Winnie the Pooh themed because it's a chocolate cupcake with honey and then you can see the bee on top. Watch out for the icing though. The icing will stain everything. And then the Tigger over here, you can see that's kind of like Tigger. And then also Piglet. And I can't remember what this one is. It is a carrot cake. So is it rabbit? Is Rabbit his name, or is it Eeyore? I think it's Rabbit. I think his name is just Rabbit, Carrot Cake. But anyway, we're gonna dive in because these are so amazing. Out of all of the desserts though, the Tigger banana like uh, pie is probably my favorite. This is so, so good. Now mom's going in and cutting the shortcake. Let's see your stuff here. Let me see how I can do this. Oh, I don't care about the strawberries on top. That's all you guys. Oh, look at you. You're trying to divide it up equally. I am. <laughs> I just couldn't cut the strawberry. I don't have a sharp knife. Now we are all done with dinner and we have to run out the door because I thought the park closed at 9 and I thought happily ever after was at 9, but it's at 8.45. Titanic leave in five minutes. We're gonna try to find a spot, but it's looking very tight here. Maybe we'll cozy up to the uh, castle right here. We went to the uh, wheelchair uh, reserve seating, but it looks like it's all full up. Oh boy, we've gotten stuck right in the middle. I'm really worried about getting out of here, but if this is where we're gonna get a good shot for the fireworks, might as well be.
with that, I think we are done here today. That was Bonnie's last happily ever after. Yep. And my mom's. Yep. I don't know why I'm saying only Bonnie, but you're going to come back down before <laughs> October. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie, it. you're staying home. <laughs> but it was fun, and this is going to do it for the uh, family vacation. This is the last night. Are you guys sad? Yeah. Sad. sad that I have to leave you. Aww. But this is the new age. This is replacing all the VHS tapes that like got flooded in the basement at your house. Yeah, yeah. This is this is our memories and our family vacations. And we can look back on these and share them with upcoming family members yeah. and just always have them. So it's always amazing to be able to share it with you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed our vacation, our little family vacation. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I want to say thank you all for loving my son. Not Aww. as much as me, but for loving him. I love Thank you. you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.